Hey Fredericksburg Burgord family, this is Bishop Brown. I just wanted to provide you one or two small updates, uh, quick updates, and then share some uh, thoughts with you about a, a talking from conference that really impresses, impressed me, which is Elder Gary E. Stevenson. Uh, the updates are there's not a lot of change. We had a meeting with the stake president on Tuesday night, uh, the, the other bishops in the stake and myself, and things are pretty much staying how they were before where we're not conducting baptisms, weddings, or funerals at the church. Uh, we really shouldn't be going out to the church at all unless we have some kind of official business there. And if we do go to the church, please make sure that whatever we take there with us leaves with us. Think of it as backpacking, leave no trace. And that we lock all doors and turn out all lights for those of you that have keys. That said, I want you to know that I love you and I miss you. And I'm hoping that, you know, sooner than later, we get to meet together again. So on to the, uh, the conference talk that I was thinking about was Elder Gary E. Stevenson. I've been thinking about this one quite a bit since conference. I really liked how he talked about the renovation or the improvements that the upgrades they're doing on the foundation of the Salt Lake Temple, and then asked us to ask some questions of our own life, where he said, how could this extensive renewal of the Salt Lake Temple inspire us to undergo our own spiritual renewal, reconstruction, rebirth, revitalization, or restoration? And he said, we might start such a process by asking, what does my foundation look like? Now, what I did was I tried to match some scriptures to each of the three questions that he asked that were meaningful to me. I'd like to ask you to do the same. Either you can ponder the scriptures that I've put here or find your own, preferably find your own, that are meaningful to you as you think these questions over. But I like Helo in 512 because this talks about being founded upon the rock of our Redeemer, who is Christ, the Son of God, and tells us this is the only sure foundation whereon if men build, they cannot fall. So when I think about what my foundation looks like, if it doesn't look like this, founded upon the rock of Christ, a solid testimony that I know Jesus Christ is the Son of God, which I do know, that he is my Savior and Redeemer, then I have some work to do. I always have work to do. Let me be clear about that but I want my foundation to always be built on a solid testimony of Jesus Christ, my Lord and Savior. Next, Elder Stephenson asked us, what compromises the thick-walled, stable, strong cornerstones that are part of my personal foundation upon which my testimony rests? There was two things I really liked here from the scriptures. Uh, number one was Mosiah 5.15. This was King Benjamin talking to his people. I loved how he put this. He said, therefore, I would that you should be steadfast and immovable. So steadfast and immovable is very solid, very strong, and immovable in what? Always abounding in good works that Christ the Lord Onipotent may seal you his. So here we find this very important that we're doing the right things. Christ restored gospel is a gospel of doing. And if we want to have a solid foundation, we need to be doing, need to be helping. Uh, helping others, helping ourselves, helping our families in so many different ways. I'm not going to try to list it all, but this is something to ponder about over is, do I abound in good works that Christ may seal me his? And then, of course, Ephesians 2, 20 to 21, where he talks about and are built upon the foundation of the apostles and the prophets, Jesus Christ himself being the chief cornerstone. Of course, this is referring to the church. And is part of my personal foundation a strong testimony of the restored gospel of the restoration that we have living prophets now that joseph smith was a prophet of god who brought forth the book of mormon do i have that testimony and then the final question that elder stevenson asked us to ponder was what are the foundational elements of my spiritual and emotional character that will allow me and my family to remain steadfast and immovable even to withstand the earth-shaking and tumultuous seismic events that will surely take place in our lives. For this one, I picked out Moroni 745, which of course is about charity. And the thing I like in this one that really says, well, what would make me immovable? How he concludes talking about charity, because charity beareth all things, believeth all things, hopeth all things, and endureth all things. So if I want my foundation to be immovable, to be able to endure any kind of earth-shaking or tumultuous seismic event like social distancing and COVID-19, I must have charity, the pure love of Christ in my heart, and that will help me endure 
all things. Well, that's it. That's my message. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, leave some thoughts. Leave some comments. What are your foundational cornerstones? What is your foundation in the gospel? Let's strengthen each other. Let's help each other build strong foundations. Again, I love you and I miss you. And I bear this testimony in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.